Hello artists, good to see you again. Today in art class, what we're gonna be working on is sort of a Valentine project. I know, it's only January, but we're getting a jump on it. Um, but there are some students who don't celebrate Valentine's Day. So if you are one of those students, that's fine. There's lots of choices within the project, so you can still do the project and you just don't have to make it Valentine-ish. We're gonna be working on making a llama with some heart-shaped sunglasses and lots of hearts in the background. So I will show you how to do that and I will show you all the different skills we're gonna be working on with cutting and gluing and drawing and tracing. There's so much. Can't wait to show you. For our drawing today, we are gonna need two pieces of paper you need a pair of scissors and some kind of glue, either a glue stick or a glue bottle. You're going to need a pencil, whoops, pencil, and some markers and crayons. If you only have crayons, then that's what you're going to use. If you only have markers, then that's what you're going to use. If you don't have either of those, you can do the entire project with just pencil. Um, you could also use colored pencils. So. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one sheet of paper off to the side for right now and we're just gonna start with our background. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up next month. So we're gonna work with some hearts in this project, but I do realize not everybody celebrates Valentine's Day. So um, for example, right now we're gonna put some hearts on our background Let's say that's too close to Valentine's Day for you. Um, maybe you don't celebrate it. You can use a different shape. Maybe you wanna use circles or um, diamonds or some other shape that you really like. That's totally fine. So we're gonna start <clears throat> by drawing different size hearts on our paper. Now, if drawing hearts is tricky for you. What I would suggest is take another sheet of paper, draw a heart. You can even, I can even show you a little trick that you may know already, but let's say, let's say I wanna make a heart pattern. What I can do is I can fold a piece of paper in half and on the fold, I'm just gonna draw a line that kinda looks like a candy cane. It's just, starts here, it curves out, and it goes down. And then I can cut that out, and I'm gonna cut next to it, not on that line, but just kind of next to it. And then when I open this, this becomes my pattern. Do you see that? So I can lay it down, and I can trace it again and again. Now, you don't have to do that, but that might help some of you if you have a hard time with hearts. So go ahead and draw lots of hearts, different sizes, all over your paper. And you're gonna wanna kind of make sure that you, make sure that you have lots on the edges because you won't be able to see too much of what's in the middle. You certainly can put some in the middle, but you won't really be able to see them too much because we're gonna have our animal right there. All right, so. I'm just going to draw a couple bigger ones right here. Then I'm going to take a couple different colors of crayons for my background. And it's really up to you. If you want it to be super Valentine-y, you could use red and pink. If um, You could also throw some purple in. If you are not looking to make a Valentine-ish, you could use any choice of colors. Just pick out a couple colors of crayons that you want to use. I think for this one I'm going to use um, maybe blue and purple for my background. So we're going to 
go ahead and trace. over some of your hearts. And if whatever color you start with, I would just hold on to that crayon, go through and trace all of them that you want to be that color. It will save you time instead of picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. It just will, it'll save you time. All right, and then and you feel like you have all of them traced that you want traced with that first color, pick up your second color and go ahead and trace those. Now you might be wondering, can you use more than two colors? Sure, you can do that. Um, I kept it a little simpler with two but let's say you really, really, really wanna use three, or maybe you really wanna make rainbow hearts or something like that, that's fine. You can do that. Okay, now, when this is done, you just need to set it aside. You'll need it in a little bit. and you're gonna need your other piece of paper. So we're gonna take this one, we'll put it aside, pull out the other piece of paper. And you're gonna need your pencil. And we're gonna create a llama. So llamas have tall heads, long necks, and they have ears that go up kinda of high, like this. So we wanna make sure we have space for their ears, and we wanna make sure we have a long face. So our head's probably gonna go to about there. So we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna start with a curve like that, like an upside down rainbow, or I'm sorry, like a rainbow, a curve like a rainbow. And we're just gonna make some cute little bumps that go this way and that go this way. And then we're gonna go down the side. And go ba-dum, ba-dum. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Like that. Now, up here for the ears, we're gonna go kind of off to the side a little bit. We're gonna draw a line that goes up, and then it curves back down. A line that goes up, and then it curves back down. And we're gonna do another line like that on the inside for the inner part of the ear. So it curves up, curves back down. Curves up and curves back down. And then we're gonna draw, um, we can either draw eyes for our llama or if you want it to look a little more valentiney, we could be silly and we can give our llama some valentine sunglasses. So I'm gonna be a little silly with mine. I'm gonna start by drawing hearts where the eyes would be. And these are gonna be my sunglasses. And then I'm gonna draw the frame around them. So I'm just drawing another heart right along the edge. And then I'm gonna connect them with a little nose piece. And I'm gonna fix that a little bit. All right. Now for, for down here, we're gonna create a little shape where the nose and mouth will be. So we're just gonna draw, it's kind of a, a blob really. It's almost a triangle, but not pointy. If that makes sense. And then inside that area, we're gonna draw a heart nose. And then we're just gonna draw a little hook this way and a little hook this way for the mouth. And then you can put your pencil down. And we're gonna take a marker and we're gonna trace. 
Now, if you don't have a black marker, you could use a black crayon. Um, if you, you don't have that, you could use a colored pencil. You could even take a ballpoint pen. If you don't have any of that, you can make your pencil lines a little bit thicker. That'll look a little bit like an outline. And then llamas are generally white. Um, I don't know if there are ever other, maybe they're kind of peachy colors too, lighter colors. So, I mean, you certainly can color your llama in if you want to. I think I'm gonna leave mine white, but I'm gonna color the inside of my llama's ears. This little inner ear part. And then I'm also, since I have gray in my hand, I'm gonna color that little spot down where his, that little triangular spot down here where his nose and mouth is, or her nose and mouth is. Oh, and if you drew eyes, um, you can add eyelashes too. That could be really cute if you decided you didn't want to do sunglasses. And then we need to color in the nose and either the sunglasses or if you did eyes. So I think for the nose on mine, I might go with black. And then for the sunglasses, I think I'm gonna use, um, I actually want like a really red red. I'm pushing hard with my crayon because I want my color to be filled in. I want it to be dark or, or bright. Um, I, I'll often do that when I want the color to really stand out. And then for the lens part of the sunglasses, I'm gonna push lightly. It'll still be red, but it'll look a little different because I'm not pushing quite as hard. And then when that's all done, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it out. Now, I'm not gonna cut on that black line. What I'm gonna do is just kinda cut next to it like this. And I'm gonna take my time. So there's gonna be like a little white bubble of paper next to that black line and that's okay. So if I cut on the black line, sometimes what happens is you end up cutting into your project by accident. And we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna put my scraps off to the side. And when you're 
we're done cutting that out. You just want to whoops, move all your straps out of the way. And then we're going to take our background paper and we're going to put our llama on top of it. Now, you can either have your llama in the middle or you can tilt him. That's up to you. Mine seems like he fits a little better if I put him right in the middle. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take my glue and I'm only going to put glue on the edges of my project, not in the middle, because that's kind of wasteful. I don't need it in the middle. Um, and I'm holding my paper down nice and tight so it doesn't rip as I'm putting the glue on. And then I put my cap back on my glue. And then I'm going to turn this over and center it down at the bottom. And then I'm going to push it down. And I'm all done. When you're all done with everything, you're going to have your llama glue down, and then you'll have the spaces on the face colored in, the sunglasses, or maybe part of the eyes, the space around the mouth and the nose, and you'll have the inner ear colored in. You're welcome to color in the hearts too that are along the edges. Um, you don't have to, but you certainly can. I hope you had fun working on your project, and I will see you next time.